Hello, this is Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different types of layouts in JavaFX. So the stack pane and the flow pane. So to get started, we're going to actually have to uh, set our scene as a stack pane. So let's do a stack pane here. And then we also have to change this to stack pane, just like that. Now we have this load method which is just calling this. So this is what we're going to just write all of our code, just to make it neat so it's not very claustrophobic in uh, the start method here. So we just have a separate method here. Okay, so we're starting off with the stack pane. Now, what does the stack pane do with the stack pane? It's in a name, it kind of stacks elements on top of each other. So for example, if we have a button, and then if we have a second button, the second button will just uh, stack on top of the first button. So let's create two buttons for it. So let's say we have button one, and I'll give a name of button one. And let's just let's create a second one. So let's do uh, button and then button two is equal to new button button two. Okay, so we, we have our two buttons. Now we need to just add these to our uh, to our stack pane. So we just call root so we do root dot get get children so there's two actual ways of doing this we can use get children or we can do um well yeah get children and then we can do a dot add or we can do add at all it depends if we do add we'll just have to uh, do this twice so we'll have to do uh, add button one and then we'll have to do uh, add button two or there is another way that we can do this we can do uh, add all and by doing add all, we can just specify the buttons in here. So we can do button two in here. So we, there's no need to have this one here. Just like that. And now if you run this, you can see, well, we have button two that is stacked on top of button one. Obviously, we can't see button one. So let's just make button one that bit bigger. So let's do button one dot uh, set set uh, fit uh, set fit Ooh. button set. Uh, let's do min width. We'll do at we'll do two hundred. Then we'll do bottom one dot set min height. We'll also do this at two hundred. We're just making the bottom one bit bigger just so we can see bottom two on top of it. Now, if you run this, you can see this here is bottom one, and then this is the second button. Okay, so you can see the way it works. Button uh, the very first button that we add will be uh, at the very bottom then any other element that we add will go on top of it so that's why button one is before it because we uh, added button one first and then button two will be added on top of this so this will be at the bottom and this will be at the top okay so that was uh, about it for the stack pane the next one that i want to go over is the flow pane so first thing that we need to do change uh, this from stack pane to flow pane and it's like the same thing here. Now we have our flow pen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a few buttons um, into our flow pen and we're going to see how it works. So uh, instead of doing this, I'm going to add them in a different way. It's a bit of an easier way. So what we do is we do root dot get children and then we do a dot add so dot add we can add a node in here so we can add like a new button in here and we can do a, a button one for example and then we can just copy this um, a few times so let's do button two button three and i'm going to copy this another twice so there is nine of them so we can clearly see uh, how the flow pane works Okay, just like that. And uh, that is about it. So if we run this now, this is the way that we have our buttons, as you can see. And what a flow pane does is, you'll see whenever I make this bigger, it fills in, okay? So it works in a horizontal and vertical uh, way. So if there's any space uh, horizontally, it will add the buttons here, like horizontally. But once there's no more space horizontally, we will add it to the next section here. So you can see once it goes, it just automatically goes down. 
So there's a couple of other things that we can do with that that is pretty cool. So if we call our flow pane, which is the root, so we do root dot set v gap, right? Set v gap, and let's do something like twenty, and then let's do root dot set h gap, and let's do this at twenty as well. Now, if we run this, you can see that there is now a gap in between all elements. So we have twenty vertically and we have 20 horizontally uh, but and it works the exact same way okay it works the exact same way all right so that is about it for the stack pane on the flow pane i hope this video helped hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out